Two weeks after a devastating fire killed 33 dogs, a memorial tonight served as a way for people to honor their four-legged family member. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel is back from that emotional ceremony. Lindsay? Well, Marley and Brian, Clock Funeral Home, along with other community partners, were able to pull off this service in just a matter of days. And as expected, there were lots of tears, but also a sense of closure for those who lost their pet in the Storms Ahead Kennels fire. There's not enough words that can say how bad I feel. Um, I, it was always, always our goal. I always enjoyed having each and every one of them come and spend the time with us. It was, it was their camp that they got to come to. They're now with their friends. They were with their friends when this happened, and they are with their friends now. The memorial service at Clock Funeral Home focused on celebrating the family members lost in the Storms Ahead Kennels fire, like Remington. That's how we ended our spring break trip, so that was uh, difficult. He was 11 months old uh, when uh, we lost him, so still pretty young puppy and uh, full energy and spunky, just as you would expect a puppy to be. Was he pretty quick? <laughs> was he fast? Yeah. Did you get to pet him a lot, too? Even though it's an unhappy event, we wanted to bring out the happier side and honor these little lives. So it was important to be able to get pictures of them and then to find something that people can walk away with in hopes that when they leave, they feel a little better. Part of that comfort came from other four-legged friends who also came to support the families and remind them that their pet loved them unconditionally. And it's important to remember that you each and every one of you, including you and your family, did everything the best that you could where your pet was concerned. I will hold each dog. My heart. I... I'm so thankful for all of you. So very thankful. Thank you. A GoFundMe page has been set up to start helping the families add a new dog to their family if they choose to do so. We will be sharing that link inside this story at woodtv.com. Now, another thing that was addressed tonight was that this was just a tragic accident. Poli or fire department ruled out arson. They know it started in an office, but they don't know exactly what caused it, but really just labeling it as just a horrible tragedy, sadly. So sad. It and is. it touched so many people around yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah, she actually received a card from someone in Australia, even. Wow. So, and just strangers who understand that love for a pet. Yeah. Well, hopefully this helped them tonight relate with other people and be yeah. together. Closure. Yeah. Thank you, Lindsay.